Hello guys, David Ortiz here. Welcome to another video of Dive Into Your Purpose. The series continues. I hope everybody's having a great day. Um, in today's topic, we're gonna talk about having good faith, being confident in yourself. But first, before we get into this topic, I wanna just say, if, the, if these videos are bringing you value, please do me a big favor and like, subscribe, and the most important thing is hit that bell because in that bell, um, as I come out with more videos, you guys will be informed. And you guys could be the first ones to see it. So um, anyways, guys, let's dive into uh, what we're gonna talk about today. It's gonna be brief, but I wanna talk about, about having faith in yourself. And uh, in order to talk about this, I wanna say, what is the opposite of faith? It's having doubt. So what is doubt? Let's define doubt. Doubt is not being confident in a certain outcome, not knowing the outcome, not being confident in yourself or in something, um, living in fear that something is gonna go wrong. And the opposite of that is having good faith. Not doubting yourself is having confidence in yourself and having faith. Faith is being certain that the thing that you believe is the truth having faith in something, having faith in someone that something is gonna come to your life in good expectation because you believed in it. Doing things without without you having the vision to see past what, what can be, that's faith. Faith is doing things in confidence that things are gonna turn out in the right way in your life. So. The reason I want to talk about this is because as you do as you do things in your life, people are gonna doubt you, and because of people because people doubt you, it's gonna shake you a little bit. You're gonna start giving into fear, but if you keep your face strong, you're always gonna be you're always gonna go do things at 100% speed. And I want to talk about the Gospel of Matthew. Because in that in that in that gospel in that book in the Bible it talks about how Jesus did all these crazy miracles healed people from from demon possessions healed people from from disabilities he he uh, he made the blind see he made a crippled man walk he fed 5,000 people with when he only had this much of food and he multiplied it and as as everybody saw all this people still doubted people still didn't believe that he was the messiah the son the son of god and uh people kept demanding things from him people didn't didn't really believe that he was the son of god he was the messiah and people kept on on calling them names and saying you're fake you know you're a fake prophet and uh, people even called him the, the prince of demons because he was healing people from demon possession, which is crazy. So imagine you're doing all these, all these things and, and even Jesus was doubted. So imagine if, if, if Jesus was doubted, imagine what the type of people that are gonna come into your life once you start doing things that, that you believe is, is true, that, that you believe is, is the purpose for you in your life. People are gonna come, they're, they're gonna doubt you. They're gonna put you to the test to see if you're gonna keep going. And Jesus said, do you not have good faith in me? And people were shook, were shook in his confidence that, that he knew that he was the truth and the light and the only way into the kingdom of heaven. And he told people that my father has given me the authority to do all these things in his glory and people followed in his confidence because he had faith in his purpose he had faith in his in his creator and he had faith that everything he was doing was to uh for the glory of god for the glory of his father the the, the god that created everything the heaven the earth the universe the water the sea the clouds the trees all right we're we're just gonna end the video on this note guys after all i talked about is uh is faith you know having confidence in yourself i want to talk about one last story when god told his disciples he was going to get risen from the dead in three days 
and we did, and when he did, he met with the disciples, and they were astounded. They couldn't believe that this was Jesus. He looked so beautiful. He was glorified in God's name. But still, a couple of those disciples doubted him after he did all these things and, and even rose from the dead himself after he was going to say he was. Some people still doubted him. But God, Christ, completed, completed what he said he was going to do. He did it in good faith. And I'm going to end on this note. God says, in the Gospel of Matthew says, He said that if you believe that you can have these things, and you pray in good faith, then those things will be given to you. And I say, if you believe that you can move this mountain and tell that mountain to go into that into that ocean, then it could happen. Because God, in, God Christ in the Bible said that if you, if you pray in good faith and you believe in your heart, then, then God will give you those things. So, uh, anyways, guys, I hope this was a valuable video. I hope that you learned some things. Uh, have good faith. Don't doubt yourself. Be confident in what you do and do it with authority. And all these things will come into fruition. So, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button and ring the bell, guys. Until the next video, peace out.